Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending where you are getting me from. Welcome to our morning devotion. In case you are new here, just feel most welcome. This is the right place to be. My name is the Lack Mom Deborah Anchoka. We do our morning devotion every weekday from Monday to Friday between 5 to 6 a.m. East African time. And today uh, our sharing is about do not be afraid. God will bail you out. That is our sharing and the key verse is from the book of Daniel chapter 2 verse 19 to 23. And we're going to sing hymn and song number 508. But before, before that, let's pray as we start. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the gift of life. And so to do our morning devotion, we ask you to be with us. Help us and let it have a great impact unto our lives. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. We can sing together a song, a hymn or song number 508, Anywhere with Jesus. Anywhere with Jesus I can safely go. Anywhere he leads me in this world below. Anywhere without him there is joy, good pain. Anywhere with Jesus I am not afraid. Anywhere, anywhere fear I cannot know. Anywhere with Jesus I can safely go. Anywhere with Jesus, I am not alone. Other friends may fail me, stay my own. Though his hand may lead me over dreary ways. Anywhere with Jesus is a house of praise. Anywhere, anywhere, fear I cannot know. Anywhere with Jesus I can safely go. Anywhere with Jesus I can go to sleep. When the gloomy shadows round about me crave. Knowing I shall work and never more to run. Anywhere with Jesus will be home sweet home. Anywhere, anywhere, fear I cannot know. Anywhere with Jesus I can safely go. And on sea, and on sea, it in the cover. And on sea, na yeso ni gonda again there. Amen. Anywhere with Jesus I can safely go. Uh, wherever there is Jesus, don't be afraid of uh, following him. Just go there because there you are safe. So, uh, our sharing today is that do not be afraid. God will bail you out. Uh, and our key verse is from the book of Daniel, chapter 2, verse 19 to 23. I'm going to read from my New King James Version. And the Bible records... Then the secret was revealed to Daniel in a night vision. So Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever. For wisdom and mighty are his. And he changes the times and the seasons. He removes kings and raises up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. He reveals deep and sacred things. He knows what is in the darkness and light dwells with him. I thank you and praise you, O God of my fathers. You have given me wisdom and might and, and mighty and have now made known to me what we asked of you. For you have made known to us the king's demand. Amen. So, this is uh, this is the happiness. Daniel was expressing his joy and happiness in what God did to him. After God re revealed to him the dream that was giving them hard time. <clears throat> uh, I don't know if this is the first time you are hearing about this dream. This was uh, the dream of King Nebuchadnezzar. 
you know, Nebuchadnezzar had dreamt and he forgot the dream and then he demanded that if nobody is going to tell him what he dreamt about and the meaning of the dream, everybody was going to be killed. So remember Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were, were in Babylon. They were also working there as God, these people. But people, uh, the Nebuchadnezzar had not allowed them to continue worshipping God because they felt like his idols were, 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 were the ones to be worshipped. So it reached a time that King Nebuchadnezzar had to dream, a difficult dream that he was not even able to remember. So he told the sorcerers, which, or which doctors, many people to come and interpret the dream. And he, he gave them a, a very hard task. And, and then he was like, if nobody is going to help me interpret this dream, everybody is going to be killed. So he had already ordered his command his commander the chief commander to authorize like everybody was going to be killed if there was they were not going to help him interpret his dream so remember the only four men here were just uh, daniel meshach shadrach and abednego they were the men of god here they were the only people who knew about god so it got them scared but uh when you start from two you start from chapter two verse 1, continuous, you will realize that when Daniel realized that the, the king now was going to kill them if they were not going to help him interpret the dream, he decided like, I'm not going to be afraid anymore. Let me go and talk to the chief of commander to go and tell the king like, I'm going to interpret the dream. He was not sure if he was going to know the meaning of the dream. He didn't see anything that was, he didn't have any hope like I know the dream I'm going to I'm going to interpret because he had given them a period a duration of which they were going to interpret the dream if not he was going to kill all all men who are working in Babylon the man of the men of God and these people who are witch doctors sorcerers those people who could pretend to be knowing how to interpret things so <coughs> Daniel <coughs> after now Daniel uh, had told the chief commander like go and tell the king to give us some time we are going to interpret his dream so the same day he went and talked to his friends you know what we, we are going to do we are going to fast and pray the whole night so that we can save our lives and also we can also save other people so that they will understand like we are serving a living God so Daniel went to his friends that's uh, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, and then they started praying that night. The same same night they were praying is when now God revealed the dream to Daniel in a vision, and that is when he was like, "Now God, you at least you have not ashamed us. You have shown me the dream. I'm going to interpret it to the king. Trust me, that is when." Uh, now Daniel became courageous enough and went to the chief commander and told him like I'm ready because the same night they were praying for, for for the dream to be revealed to them is when God revealed it to Daniel and that is why you see God uh, Daniel is praising God like you have done something good to us you have shown us something that would be hidden in darkness you are amazing God <clears throat> so he just became happy because he knew he, uh, his friend's life and some people, they were going to be saved because of the vision that was revealed to him. So, uh, when he went to the commander, if you read that, the whole of that chapter 2, and then Daniel was able to interpret the dream. That is even when Nebuchadnezzar was able to recognize that we have a living God in heaven. And he believed like this God of Daniel is a true God. Nebuchadnezzar is the king that you could have not convinced like, he should stop worshiping idols but through what David, uh, Daniel did he was able to be convinced for sure we have a living God in heaven so this morning I just want to share this with the Lakman family and I want to remind you one thing anytime you feel like you are afraid you are afraid of doing something maybe because you have pressure you have external pressure like now you feel like you're living in fear 
I just want to tell you there's one there's only one solution. You only go need to go to your knees, just like Daniel. Daniel, they were they were scared of their life. They didn't know what will happen next because they didn't know even that dream. Imagine somebody telling you, tell me what I dreamt. I had a dream and you have to tell me what it, the dream was and you have to interpret it. That is something very hard because there's no way I can I can interpret your dream or I can be able to recognize what you dreamt about. But God did it to Daniel and his friends. So when God revealed it to Daniel, Daniel was so happy. So this morning, I just want to tell the Lakman family that like, you don't need to be afraid. God is going to bail you out. I don't know what type of problem you are in, but I want to remind you that we have God in heaven. The God of Daniel. The God of Daniel who revealed uh, the Kadnezah dream in, in a vision through Daniel. We have him. He's just watching on you. So if you have, you're in trouble and you feel like you're almost giving up, you are not different from Daniel and their friends. They were almost giving up, but they didn't. They were like, now we have some time to pray. You know, the, the, the shocking part is that they had asked for some duration. They didn't know that if they start praying for that, that night, it was going to be answered. They just requested, requested for some time, you know, uh, hoping that maybe our God, our God is going to answer our prayers so that we can be able to, to interpret this dream to King Nebuchadnezzar and be able to save lives. And that is exactly what he did. He just decided, like, I have to answer you this prayer this same day. You're not going to wait on the period that you have asked for. I'm just going to answer this prayer. You're going to interpret to him the dream, and then everything is going to be okay. Uh, and then I'll be seen through you. And that is exactly what happened. When Daniel interpreted the dream to King Nebuchadnezzar, he was able to recognize the living God in heaven. So, uh, if you are in trouble this morning or there's something you have not achieved as you plan, you've been asking God to give you some time, I just want to tell you it will happen. It will happen. Any trouble you are in, God is going to bail you out. And then you'll be able to realize that we have a living God, just like the King Nebuchadnezzar was able to recognize. I know there are some things maybe you have prayed for many times and they have not been answered and you feel like, it's because this God is not there. That that time, that duration you are asking God to make things right is the same duration that Daniel were also Daniel and the friends also asked the God like give us, give us. They asked uh, the King Nebuchadnezzar to give them through the chief command to give them some duration to see if God is, was going to answer their prayers, but God did not see any state. He didn't delay. He was like, no, you are my people, and I don't want you to be stressed so much to to keep living in fear because I know the type of king that is in Babylon right now. And he was able to reveal the vision, the dream through uh, Daniel in a vision, and that is how his people are saved. You might be in a in a problem that you can't bail you bail out yourself. Maybe you're in prison. You don't need to get bail on in prison. Maybe you have not paid your rent. Maybe your landlady or land, landlord just locked you out because you have no option and you have been crying like, is there God? Yes, God is there and he's going to bail you out. Any problem you are in, just remember this God who is going to bail out you out. You have been living in shame because of what happened maybe into your life and then you feel like God has just forgotten you. This morning, I want to remind you that God is there. He will bail you out. Any situation you are in, you feel like this is difficult for me. God is going to bail you out and you are going to be happy just like Daniel. And you keep praising him like, God, I've never seen uh, something like this. This is amazing. You are a super God. The way uh, Daniel was now praising God in Daniel chapter 2, verse 19 to 23. I'm, I'm praying that uh, you'll be the next person praising God. Like, ah, God, you have done it for me. This is what I was praying for. You have shown me that something that I could not know. You have shown me something that is in darkness. The way Daniel was happy is the same way we shall be happy. Maybe you, you can be happy. Me, I can be happy. Like, God has answered my prayer. I did see this coming. So the, the excitement in Daniel's uh, praise shows that he was so 
happy because he knew that things were going to be okay on his side and his friends and God's people are going to be saved and then they will be able to win many souls to God because now they serve a living God. It was going to be a testimony to them like now we serve a living God and people, it was not going to be hard for people to believe them because even those sorcerers were living in fear because they knew they are going to die. So through uh, Daniel's vision, they were also bailed out. So you should not be afraid because God will bail, bail you out one day. So thank you for watching our morning devotion. We do this morning devotion every weekday from Monday to Friday between 5 and 6 a.m. East African time. So let's pray as we finish our morning devotion. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the sharing we have had this morning, Father. We pray that you help us. Let us believe that one day you will bail out, us out from our troubles and we will be able to be very happy just like Daniel and continue worshiping you, Lord. We pray for the sick in various homes and hospitals. We pray for them. Heal them so that they can continue praising your name, Lord. We pray for the bereaved families. We pray that you comfort them as they are in their time of sorrow, God. We also pray for orphans, widows, and widowers, wherever they are. We pray that you provide for them with their daily needs, as you promised to be their Father God. We pray for our brothers and sisters working in the diaspora, Gulf countries. We pray for them, Father, cover them with the blood of Jesus each and every day, so that they can con be, continue with their work and meet with their families one time, God, and continue praising your name, Lord. We pray for our enemies, friends, our relatives, wherever they are. We pray that you forgive them their sins and remember them in the book of life, Father. Father, we thank you for blessing us as the Lack Mom family, Father. We pray that you help us so that we can, the task we have ahead of us, so that we'll be able to do them without fear and be able to save more lives, Father. We pray for our children, wherever they are. We pray that you cover them in the blood of Jesus each and every time. Remind them that you are Almighty Lord, Father, who needs to be worshipped alone, Father. We pray for the youth struggling to make uh, life better. We pray that you open ways for them so that they can be able to secure jobs and be able to have a better life, Father. We also remember parents also who are trying to make ends meet for their families. We also pray for them. Open ways for them, Father. We pray for prisoners, Father, who have become hopeless. And those who have been accused falsely, we pray that you bail them one day the way you did to Daniel and friends and they'll continue praising you, Lord. Whatever we didn't pray, we pray that you send the Holy Spirit so that you can it for us. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. So thank you so much for watching. See you tomorrow.